and about 15 percent of all the containerized cargo entering the United States travels over that bridge every day. So it's a nationally significant and important bridge uh, for the nation's economy. This bridge is designed for state-of-the-art seismic uh, performance given its critical importance to and national significance. Some of the features that are included in the uh, analysis, we actually have seismic dampers which attenuate the energy in an earthquake. The bridge will be instrumented to monitor ground motions so that we can uh, determine the exact accelerations and forces that were imparted on the bridge so that we can quickly put it back in service after a major earthquake. It's designed for both uh, the earthquakes that we would expect to happen within the life of the bridge, but it's also designed to withstand uh, large uh, earthquakes that might occur on a thousand year frequency and sustain uh, and not collapse. The, we, we're gonna instrument the bridge and the fa bridge foundations with about 75 uh, sensors or accelerometers that actually measure the accelerations that are imparted from a seismic event or any other thing that would cause strong ground motions. And those will allow us to predict what the actual forces were on the bridge. And they're located both in the foundations and in the structure at a number of locations. That information is, is uh, transmitted automatically to the California Geologic Survey so that they can analyze it and uh, add that to their database of, of earthquake knowledge. There are bridges in California that have uh, sensors in them, but this was the first time that we've been able to design from the beginning to incorporate those sensors into the design of the structure. Obviously, it's a major issue for us here in California, and so from the beginning, this bridge was designed to, for instrumentation and designed to meet the most strict seismic standards of any bridge.